I couldn't hold myself anymore. So I pissed myself in the classroom full of children. This is like the fifth time I'm trying to do this intro. But it's not working, so this is the last take. I'm gonna tell my brain this is the last take because I am not, we're not gonna keep on like doing this all the time. We're not gonna do this. We don't have time for this, okay? So, action. <laughs> what? Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Akronamu, and today we are doing another chit chat story time. And this one. <sighs> I'm embarrassed talking about it, which is ironic because the title of this video is the most embarrassing time of my life. Something of that sort. So I am very embarrassed to talk about it. That's how you know it's borderline extremely embarrassing. Now here's the thing. This is something that happened 12 years ago, but it keeps on replaying in my brain the wrong time. Like you know when you're trying to sleep and then your brain starts telling you all the things that you've done wrong or all the embarrassing moments in your life. Yeah, this has to come up over and over and over again why because i just can't erase it out of my brain i mean i need someone to come and be pity bopity boom and it goes because child it's stuck in my brain like a freaking i don't even know okay i can't even rhyme that with anything because child is major so we're gonna have to go all the way back because for you to understand why this happened you need to know what kind of person I was back then. So here's the tea. Here is the tea. Uh, we're going to go back to 2010. Because that's when it happened. Um, in 2010, I was enrolled to a boarding school. I was 10 years old and in class 5. I don't know how to interpret that in this new freaking school system. But I was in class 5. Okay, in the age 4 system. So... Child, it was quite young, technically speaking, and I didn't really know how to take care of myself, you know, I couldn't wash anything, um, I couldn't even make my bed properly. I don't even think I could shower properly. It was just, I was, I was, I was tricky. So, um, I got to the school, yay. Actually, it was, uh, it was in Shags, um, it was in Embu County, that's where I started. Uh, I didn't mind close five to close eight there, so, yeah, anyway, so that, faithful um semester it was the first semester y'all so time it was the first time shit Tom. it's called Tom. in primary school we call it Tom. primary in high school is Tom campus that's when you start calling it semesters and whatever so here i am little old me i wish i could find a photo of me when i was joining that school child if i find it i'm gonna share with you guys because I was small, like really small, like I was tiny. I don't know how I got from that to this, but child. So this is me. I enrolled, right? And when I was young, I was very quiet and timid and shy and everything around that. I was never really the outgoing child. I have never really been an outgoing person. Till today, I'm so introverted. So it's just a personality that I was probably born with or whatever. So I was very timid. And, and and shy and just I used to you know everything used to scare me um I used to be very quiet extremely quiet now I'm still quiet as an adult but that's just because I don't want to go to jail for cussing people out because right now child I keep my mouth shut because I know what my tongue can do okay so I know the kind of stuff that comes out of my mind I know the things I think so when I start spitting it out to somebody child <laughs> i'm gonna be taken to church and be put holy water one because i can i know myself we all know we all know ourselves so by that time i was quiet just because i was quiet i was scared of every single thing y'all i'm not even kidding if you're gonna shout at me at that time or just raise your voice a little bit i will cry literally the rain pour whatever i will cry that's how timid i was so yeah i enrolled okay and then i was homesick of course i was homesick because i remember when my mom left i feel like shit that's it she's dumped me here i'm gonna die okay that's dramatic but i was very scared this is a new thing this is a new school and i don't ha go home at the end of the day i stay here with these people i have never met before up to date i'm not good at making friends y'all because first of all when i walk around I have the don't talk to me face because I don't want to get talked to. So, how do I make 
friends as an adult. I don't know. I don't have friends, so I don't really make any friends. So then I was even scared of talking to classmates and teachers. I was just scared of everything, point blank, period. So I enrolled. First week was gone, cried myself to sleep every single night. Second week, same shit, same shit. Now, here's where it got tricky. Um, I'm not really, I can't remember exactly when this happened because, you know, as time goes by, you just have the memory. You don't have the specificality of the time of the memory. So I just don't really know exactly what time, but I know it was that year. The same, same year I got enrolled to boarding school, the same, same year that happened. When, I'm not sure maybe the first time the second i'm not even sure so it was just that year let's just say it was that year so i was sitting in class for night preps we used to have night preps and i think until nine and then class seven and eight they used to go to until ten if i'm not wrong i might be wrong but i do remember yeah we used to go until nine and then all the way to class six so class five and six um, anywhere below class 6, we used to go until 9, and then class 7 and 8, you go until 10, I want to say 10, because I do vividly recall it was an hour between our sleep time, um, and then we used to wake up at, well, 5.30, 5, 6, 5, 5, because we used to have breakfast at like 6, it was, I don't even know how I remember all of that, but it was something around that, so, it was night preps, okay um class five what do you really have to do for night preps half of the time nothing so there was this scary teacher oh my god he was scary like i had i had hair in my nose um he was scary he used to teach math that i remember he was tall and very dark and i do remember there's a time he there's another side story to the side story he beat us so badly underneath our feet like we used to remove our shoes and then he beats um what's called the sole of our feet and i remember people are bleeding and our feet look like this and i'm not sure if i if this was what happened or it was just a rumor but i would that rumor spread that he got arrested because after that event he was never seen in school again and then there was also rumors that he was um kicked out from another school because of his very violent child whatever you know corporal punishment um according to the laws of kenya apparently that was a that was abolished a long time ago but child i was beaten in primary school to death that's dramatic but yeah like we had a teacher it's always a math teacher she used to pinch us so hard in the ear until you break like it cut at the back up today i don't really like people touching my ears because it used to break over here so he should have been arrested too but that was not the that was not the story time for the there's just side stories to this story so you gotta keep up because there's a lot of side stories to this particular story so the crazy tall math teacher he was on duty and like you know teachers act like they fucking own the world because like if you do something like a regular thing like go pee you want to go pee they can beat you for it because he is supposed to be in class and then, 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 then now when you ask for permission they're like you can hold bitch no i can't hold but anyway that's a completely different um rant but i just hate that i hate that about teachers you don't own the world and i eventually leave this and also become an adult in this society so watch your mouth because one day we're gonna meet and I'm gonna be an adult and you can't tell me nothing I am not pissed at, at like teachers are ugh, fucking annoying I can't even say that I just hate them why are the teachers who taught me fucking no not my cup of tea not my cup of tea so this teacher he was very tough like really tough 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 so during his week um as a on duty for the night preps if he sees you outside you kneel down or he hits you he doesn't even know where the fuck you're outside okay we don't have like a card to show that you have permission no none of that so he used to be very like he would just hit you with a fucking pipe just because you're outside and he don't know why you're outside he's not even gonna ask why you're outside i hate those kind of people okay i don't know why i'm getting all worked up so um yeah so it's night <laughs> It's about eight, eight, eight-ish, I think, because it was close to going to, to bed. So I am seated on the couch. I used to, not on the couch, on the desk. 
and I'm at the back of the class. Y'all know where this is going. I'm pretty sure y'all know where this is going. And now I can already feel like I want to do the rest of the video like this. Like this, like this, like this. Because I know I'm going to show my face after this. So, um, I'll sit at the back. <laughs> at a corner, okay? And I was fucking pressed. I was so pressed. And I was scared. I was scared that if I leave that door, this nigga is going to whoop my ass. So I didn't want to go out. So what did I do? I just sat there and I started praying to every single God on this planet that I can hold myself just a little longer so that I can go to the dorm and pee. So there I am. It's a okay that's an hour tonight i am already at the maximum of this so i started shaking i look around and everybody's busy on their um you know they're busy on their you know stuff homework whatever and the toilets weren't far from our class but they faced the other way so if the teacher was at the staff room or along that road because this is how our school was shaped if i can remember so Try and keep up. So this is the administration block. Um, on this, hold on, let me position. So this way, this way, right? Um, those the headmaster and whatever offices over here, and then the staff room, and then you face like this. There's a row of two classes. Um, that was both class A, and then there's space. This is the major entrance. Okay, after the two classes, there were two. Yeah, major, major entrance. The entrance to the school was here. Okay, and then there's a row of classes row 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 those are row of classes all the way till the end okay and at the very end of this row was the toilet and then you face this other side there's another row of classes like this so our class was on this row our class five was on this row behind like if you looked at it it was behind this one but on this side so this is where this classes end and then this is where our class was so if i have to go to the washroom i have to go down and be in the line of the teacher so what did I do? That 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 scared me. But you see, what we used to do, we used to reflect through the window, and we could see if he's coming or not. And then someone will tell you if he's coming, and then we go and stuff like that. But remember, I don't talk to people. <laughs> I was so scared to ask anybody to check for me if the if the teacher was coming or if he was there just doing um, rounds. And come to think of it, I could have just stood up and went to pee because like it's nature or stuff. Anyway, so. <laughs> I am sitting there holding everything. My bladder is about to burst. And guess what? Guess what I did because I ran out of option. You see, when you're so pressed, even if you have a chance to go to the washroom, you can't even stand up. Because the moment you stand up, the gates open and the floods go out, right? So I was in that state. So what did I do? I couldn't hold myself anymore. So I pissed myself in the classroom full of children. When I say children, the reason I'm saying I put in children is because kids are mean. So I pissed myself and it started, it flowed down from my from my seat. All the way, I could see it, I could see it flowing down on the ground. And I was like, fuck me, what the fuck am I gonna do after this? Of course, at that time, I never used to cast like I do now. Right now, I cast so long. A lot so um I was so terrified so what did I do I faked that I'm asleep that's what I did I faked that I'm asleep so when the bell rang to go to bed um I had a, a cube mate a cube mate okay she came to me she's like are you okay I'm like I don't know I fell asleep so maybe I pissed myself and I was sleepy but in reality I know what happened I know I I knew when it was happening so being girls sometimes you know girls are not Yes, girls can be very mean, but I also sympathize. So sh I wrapped myself in a jacket, in the um, tracksuit jacket, waited for everyone to leave the class, and then we walked to the door. And up to date, that has never left me. I mean, of course people saw, because she was like, are you okay? And it was a trickle of liquid going down the floor. On the ground everybody's gonna check and in, in in most schools um the floor is just cemented you know that cemented floor and then it's painted red i don't know if it's painted or something is put on top but it was red floors 
uh, and it was very rough. If you fell there, you would chip something. So I was, I was terrified. And child. So you see, after that, I was an easy target for bullying, and I was bullied. Not the bullying that you see on TV that someone's gonna lock you up in the toilet for years. No, it was more like verbal and like. Like, you know, um, people trying to avoid you or they'd be like, you know, they remember all the things that you do. So, <laughs> all the way to class 8, that's one thing I used to remember a lot. And because that happened, I even became even more timid. And, and just, the kids that are just walking all over me, um, you know, they could say whatever they wanted. They could treat me however they wanted. There's nothing I can do. There's, there's no way I can react to anything. Because something, I think it, okay, you know what? Come to think of it, I think it happened the first time. The first time that I was in that school, I think that's when it's happened. Because that's when the fire happened, the first time in that school. So, it kind of paid way to a lot of negatives. Like, sorry, the only thing I remember about that school is negative. Negative, negative, negative. Because I used to also pee on my bed. <laughs> Child, I was weird. <laughs> when I said I was weird, I was weird. Because I used to piss myself in bed child i can't believe i just said that like without even shame or anything because i was young i think i mean 10 between 10 and 13 years i'm so young okay maybe i should have stopped but you see because of the constant teasing i was unable to stop it kept on going and going and going so I would say to people, first of all, I hate bullies. Like, I just hate bullies. I don't care if you're 2 or you're 30. I'm going to whoop your ass. Because you don't know exactly what you're doing to that person that you think you're bullying. You, you might be hiding them. Like, okay, for me, it turned me into a bitch and a beast. Right now, you're trying to say words to me. Who the fuck do you think you is? I kind of learned that, you know what, in this life, no one can actually do anything to you in reality as long as you let them. Like, if you open the doors for them to do stuff to you, then they're gonna do it. But if you like, mm -mm, don't cross that, they're not gonna cross that. Because humans are still scared, okay? And most of the bullies are scared people. So, yeah. All right, that's just how my life in primary went, y'all. Um, I just, I remember... <laughs> Another side rant. No side rant. Another side story. I remember one day. I will never forget. This is not embarrassing. It kind of is. Um, I remember this one day. It was Saturday. We used to have entertainment on Saturday. I think every fucking boarding school in this country has entertainment on Saturday. So people were out having watching a movie. I'm um, used to watching the dining hall. I think that's just the, the thing because dining halls are big enough to host the whole school. And then we had a projector instead of screen. Okay, when I went, when I joined that school, there was a screen, but a TV, a regular TV. But eventually they bought a projector because it's big enough. And since it's nighttime, entertainment always happens at nighttime. So it's going to be better quality to watch movies in. So I'm getting ready. We're watching Snakes in the Plane. That's where I think my irrational fear of snakes came from. So, 100%, I think that's where it came from. Because before that, I wasn't that scared of snakes because there's a time I went to, um, yeah, that's where I got my irrational fear of snakes from that movie. I can't watch it now because, ooh. So, I was getting ready, you know, got my water. I don't know why I used to carry water. And I don't know why we had like a few snakes. I don't know. So we're just chilling, waiting um, for the prefect to, you know, put it on. We watch it. This bitch from my cube, I cannot forget her name. She's called Sheila. Her name was Sheila. She was from Mombasa, I think. Olamu. I don't fucking know. Mombasa. She was a coastal bitch. So she called me and we went to this woman. Fuck that teacher. If I find her, fuck. <laughs> I just threatened a couple of people, but that woman was irritating. Um, I don't know if she fucking started in India or whatever she did in India, so she used to wear saris all the fucking time it used to piss me the fuck off. So she used to wear saris, and this bitch called me, and I started, she started cussing me out. She's like, you know, um, you are this, you are this, you are this, you are the darkest girl in this class, you are this, you are this. Of course I cried. It was that. Then you can say you can say my eyebrow look funky and I will cry. So I was crying and this bitch was going on and on and on and on. And then this other girl who called me was just looking at me like, you know that 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 look that look yeah yeah 
don't don't think I forget stuff. Some things I don't forget. And I was just I was not happy about it. <sighs> because don't do that to a young girl. Okay, don't make you look like you know we are outside. We weren't even in the we weren't even in the room, we were outside. So and she was fucking screaming. So everyone could hear most people could hear it. And it was just embarrassing point blank period. Child, if I ever meet that woman, I'm gonna rip her you know what? Let, let me not finish that statement because she was annoying. Anyway, <laughs> if I talk about my life in primary school, people are gonna start um, they're gonna go to the court and like get a restraining order from me because child, I have so many stories about my primary mostly from my perspective because I didn't like it wasn't a fan of it um, it gave me not really like trauma that I can't get over I got over it a long time ago but it changed me that's the word I'm gonna use because after I finished with that school I like I'm never ever in this fucking life and the next like anyone walk all over me i don't care who the fuck you are i'm not gonna let you because you're not above me you're not above me probably even below me but see that's the goal that's the thing i got from that school when i went to high school child don't play and right now still don't play i don't go around bt i'm not a fucking psych i'm not cardi b um <laughs> but right now i have my boundaries if you cross it we won't have a problem and Fuck that. You see, the thing is, right now, um, I open my DMs, my Facebook DM. Um, a random time of the year, I open my Facebook uh, messages because, you know, when I see what's there, you know, the Indians saying hello, pretty, and whatever. I, I find so many messages from bitches I went with to, we were, uh, we were in primary school with. I'm like, the fuck are you telling me? I want to know. <laughs> I don't even talk to you. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Why are you talking to me now? No, why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me. I had this nigga. Um, he was very annoying and he used to tease me a lot. And then after high school, after I finished high school, he was like, um, I wanna date you. Stay the fuck away from me, please. So life changes. Life can do a 360 on you. That's why I don't like treating people badly. Because I know what it's like to have people treat you badly. And, and, and I don't want anyone to go through the emotional... How am I gonna... It's not trauma. It's more like emotional... What is it? What is the word that I'm looking for? Pain? Pain? Emotional pain? Torture, yeah. Emotional torture that I went through in that period of my life. But thank God I went through it because... I've seen this, this people, um, they want to plan a reunion. Like, I'm gonna go there and make the jaw drop. Because life changes, people changes, and I wasn't gonna remain like that forever. If I did remain like that forever, then I'm failing in life. But I had to change, morphosize into whatever. And yeah, if I keep on talking, I'm gonna fucking start like cursing each and every one of them out. And I don't have time for that. I am over that. I'm a not I'm not oh, I'm not over it completely. I'm above it. Okay, I am more mature than that. I'm also very petty, so this is very complicated. How I'm gonna <laughs> go forth with this, so, child? And anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Okay, I am. That's as much expose I can do on myself today. That's the fucking limit. Oh my god. YouTube is gonna demolish, de <clears throat> demolish, demonetize me. I, I can feel that, I can hear it. But they can come at me, okay, with people like Tana Mojo. Tana, Tana, Tana Mojo posting dead people. You can't compare that to me ranting and rambling about my emotional torture I went through in primary school. So you can't compare that YouTube, okay? Okay? Thank you. So, um, yeah, guys, that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening to the most embarrassing thing that ever happened in my life. And I hope that you will always remember your most embarrassing moments. Because that's the thing that keeps us alive. You know, you're like, oh, yeah, I am human. I'm not just walking this world like a freaking robot or whatever. So, these memories are kind of nice to keep and also not nice to keep. It's a bittersweet situation because it's a fun story to tell then it was like very 
um, I don't know, nerve wracking. When it happened, it was very scary, very, you know, personal. But now it's just a story like any other. That's called growth. Okay, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.